the state of India, Kerala. The state of India has, it's not a small place. It's much, much bigger than Macedonia. It's uh, uh, about as big as California uh, in terms of population, 35 million people, roughly. Um, this state of India is not one of the wealthier states of India. Indeed, it's average to below average in the gross domestic product. It has one-tenth, or rather one-third of the gross domestic product of Cuba, roughly $1,000 uh, per capita. Um, and yet its health outcomes are comparable to the health outcomes elsewhere. Uh, so how could very poor countries, or a country like Cuba, which has been under economic attack by the United States for uh, decades, um, how can it produce such good health outcomes with such so little income? Uh, and this is an important question, it seems to me, uh, that if you're thinking about how does a society generate health and how does it produce a more equitable distribution of health in it, uh, the fact that very poor countries can do very well in generating health is an important fact. Um, and I think the answer in Kerala is particularly interesting. When I first went to Kerala, uh, the belief I had was that uh, Kerala uh, had very good health outcomes because it had a legacy of uh, a, a very left-wing government and uh, communist administration. What I learned in, when I was in Kerala and talking to people is that Kerala had, it was one, the only place in India, the only state in India, where there was a legacy of maternal property transmission. That is, you couldn't denigrate women because they had the money. Uh, uh, they, uh, the money followed them. Uh, and this was a very important fact. Maybe the policies of a government were uh, tacked on to this legacy that you couldn't denigrate women in this particular way. And in um, Kerala, the, uh, so this, uh, what you see is that women uh, couldn't be uh, uneducated you had to have high uh, investment in the education of women and the kinds of investments that were made in women in their access to education and so on were ones that had a big impact on health. Now, this is a social determinant of health. It's outside the health sector. So Kerala did very well improving the health of its own population across the board um, despite uh, very low income levels uh, because it uh, had a view that was different from what was prominent elsewhere in India. And I think this is an, a very deep lesson about the importance of uh, non-health factors in determining health in a population. And uh, it's not something that would jump to mind, especially in a meeting of people interested in health. Uh, most of whom, how many here have a background as physicians? Well, in most audiences, uh, I would have expected the majority of people to raise their hand. Um, but, uh, and uh, in any case, my uh, point is that um, more uh, is determined by the function of other goods in society than simply medicine.